Good evening. You must be wondering why I keep on changing my 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 view because uh, sometimes outside then I take the opportunity to show you what Malaysia is all about. <coughs> of course, I was uh, in the uh, farm or I am in the housing estates. You know, sometimes I driving just to add a little bit of differences <coughs> to the way I present today a bit sore throat and today i have actually uh, changed my uh, working space to another corner of my house <coughs> so that i can have some uh, change of environment and um, hopefully this is a better view for me anyway i was just uh, thinking about <coughs> this topic i'm sorry i'm having a bit of cough mm, this topic about that actually i come across this topic on that i think at least five to six years ago but i cannot remember who uh, brought it up but uh, the issue was uh, the caption suddenly caught my eye it was eyes it was saying that when you are born death is destined the only thing is the time when are you dying and uh, the psychology of death is so much fabricated by people in the society that when you talk about death everyone jump into conclusion that dying is going to be a horrible thing but i've seen a few cases where uh, the people who really uh, let's say we they go to another world <coughs> they are very happily doing it because they are detaching themselves from the burden that they have on the family if they are on medical or they are bedridden or they are already in a vegetable stage or, or in a coma stage not a vegetable stage uh, forgive me for that language <coughs> but for the living to let go is so difficult and that in some culture or in some religion they are saying that the burden of the living is the one that is causing the pain to the one that is passing well how far is true i i'm no expert in this but um why do people fear of dying uh, for the young one, maybe because they think that they have not lived the life they wanted. For the old one, because they feel that they still have responsibility and uh, without fulfilling their responsibility, they don't want to go. Then they will think that uh, if they are not around, things will happen you know, uh, to their children or to the things that they want to uh, fulfill is not undone. But the world evolved by itself. The creator is the best boss of the world. He makes sure that no matter what happens, whether the one that is going or the one that is coming, they all have a life of their own. What he actually needs us to do, I'm using he as a generation, uh, just a word he, it can be she, it can be he, but easier for me to say he. Uh, instead of her but don't go into the gender argument on the creator because he and um, the creator is one of the most um, exquisite things in the world i think using exquisite is way too unfair i i just know that i am in appreciation that he uh, is the creator that we have a creator each and every one of us have a creator so in respect to the life that is given to us we have to make sure that we live our life to the fullest if you can contribute back to the society during your later life you will be doing a lot of karma uh, unconsciously uh, you do not design your karma you just act accordingly then the karma is uh, naturally yours if you are planning something just to get a good karma then 
uh, is a bit too far fetched, you know, to to expect the return. A lot of friends, uh, a lot of even my relatives are saying, "Oh, I do so much for this person," you know. In the end, uh, they thank you also. They never say to me, "Or oh, uh, I've done this and done that for them," but when they see me, they they turn around and run. Now, if you are expecting that kind of returns, then you are not actually doing it with a purpose from your heart, but you are doing it with an expectation of reward. Uh, I do hope many that hear my uh, sharing will not be that first category of people. You just need to do what you think you are capable of doing. Be responsible. Uh, like Sadhguru said, be responsible in a sense that you can you can have the ability to respond but you don't need to act if you are not able to it's like when you are not having even food on your table how can you share food but some people do go beyond that i am sorry i am not one of them yet i will share when i have a little extra uh, i'm not a saint uh, so just to make the thing clear that even though I'm talking so much about sharing etc, I still am a human being like any of, many of you. So this is one topic that people should really ask themselves. That is why uh, coaching helps a lot. When I was doing coaching that time, before I was learning about coaching or practicing coaching, I used to fear of death too because I was thinking, oh, my daughter's still young, you know, uh, maybe she cannot survive, uh, so and so forth, and my mother so old. So, what is the right thing to do? But after coaching, uh, training, and also sharing, and then self learning and reading, um, my mindset luckily shifted that in order to enjoy my death i have to enjoy my living because death is something that is uh, definitely going to happen uh, so what we want is just to make sure that while we are living every moment count because every moment is different everything is different you cannot find the same moment again or oh, is it tomorrow at the same time let's say 5 20 tomorrow 5 20 i'm having the same talk again no it's different everyone is different so appreciate every moment that you have if you are running into corners and you don't know what to do you can drop me an email i will uh, look into your case if you are qualified for a free consultation on coaching or if you are coachable then i will contact you <coughs> otherwise i will just drop you online to inform you uh, who you should uh, consult or what type of uh, professional uh, consultation you need do not be afraid to see your own image because nobody can love you unless you love yourself so pay more attention to your own needs because with this pandemic going on uh, we don't know who live today who live tomorrow but it's with the blessing of creator that everyone should live a life full of meaning and achieving their dreams at least to the best of their own ability or at least if they do not achieve their dream they can at last close their eyes and say at least i done it okay so these are some of the things that you should look at when you are asking yourself uh, then you take down a piece of paper write what are you grateful for every day if you can name 10 is good if you cannot name 10 any number will be good you should be thankful that you have water when countries they don't have waters 
you should be grateful that you have greeneries while other country have only uh, <coughs> desert you should be grateful that you wake up you should be grateful that you can blink you can smile you can eat and you can run these are the things that not many people have so be grateful for what you have and for the extra values of oneself go for coaching so look for me when you need it and i'll be waiting thank you